United States is escalating at an alarming pace. The statistics are staggering. Urban centers are oversaturated with violence. And the wave of criminal activity has overflowed to suburban and rural areas. Dissolution of moral structure, international conspiracies, a multi-billion dollar drug trade. No one knows the source, and authorities are helpless in stopping this epidemic of crime. Civilization is being pushed to the brink. To stem the rising tide of violence and re-establish order, extreme steps must be taken. The question becomes... Who will take them? San Francisco. Uh, I had the team put together a trailer. We just took some stuff from Snowdrop and said, make cool trailer, and it, that's what it puts out. So that's kind of the way that goes. Uh, but all that chaos, all that scary stuff is totally true. Uh, thankfully, the coon is up to the occasion. And who better to defend the town of South Park and really Colorado and really the world than superheroes or kids in superhero costumes? So like the coon, I need some help from some friends. Please welcome Trey Parker and Matt Stone. Wow, mm. Oh, look. Oh. A, com a comfy couch. This yeah. is sweet. Ah, I had it brought in. Finally, sit down. Ah, yeah, I know, it's an exhausting walk all the way through oh. there. <laughs> So uh, let's talk about the story. Everybody wants to know what's going on in the fractured but whole. Don't know yet. Yeah. <laughs> We're working on it. Uh, well, it really it, <laughs> it, uh, it, it picks up where the stick of truth kind of left off. You're the new kid. If you played stick of truth, you would know that. And that you're the new kid who moved to South Park. And um, so the, the the game's really about who you are, and you kind of define who you are in South Park. But whereas the stick of truth was like a fantasy send up, and you end up being the king in the end. And um, the, it's like the next day in South Park, and the kids have sort of switched up, and now they're playing superheroes. Right. Right? Yeah. And so we, we actually have a backstory that the kids have been playing superhero, but they've been, they got into a big fight about something, so they're in the Civil War yeah. part of their kind of right. Civil War. Um, and in fact, Marvel wanted to call their movie Captain America the Fractured Butthole, but we had already taken that name. So they had to, they had to call their Civil War. <laughs> Lucky. Lucky. True. Very, it's a true story. That's true. extremely true. But also, um, you know, we, we want to get into who you are as this new kid and the fact that, you know, in, in Stick of Truth, you really rose to being cool because you became king. But in this game, they've kind of switched games, and so you're back to being a douchebag again. Right. So let, let's see how that douchebag was able to make it into Kun and Friends. Real gameplay. Dude, what the fuck? Who let this ordinary citizen into the Kun lair? Uh, listen, bro, we are all superheroes, and you aren't, so you can't hang out with us. Please do us all a solid and fuck up. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Do not touch that! That device can blow up the entire Milky Way galaxy! Jesus, fuck! Mom! The new kid is trying to play with the cube of ultimate destruction! You be nice to all your friends, Eric. Be a good share. Good share and above the fucking galaxies, you stupid bitch. Look, dude, we already told you, you can't play. You aren't a superhero. You don't have a costume. You don't have any superpowers. Freedom Pals are adding people to their franchise. We should be adding people to ours. This dork, like, wearing a little crown? Does this look like a superhero to you? <sighs> all right, all right, have a seat, douchebag. <clears throat> Not there. That's Mysterion's seat. Not there either, stupid. All right, in order to play superheroes, you have to have a superhero persona. Then you can fill out your character sheet on Coonstagram. Do you have a Coonstagram page? Oh boy, you're not even on Coonstagram, huh? Well, I guess I can create one for you. Fucking unbelievable. Let's see. So the first thing we need to fill out on your character sheet is your class. You know, what kind of superhero are you? Ah, yes, like the Flash or Quicksilver. I like it. Yeah. 
Yes. Wow. Woo. That's what I'm thinking. Sure. Sure. Wow. It was really important to us to be able to, and you guys, to be able to really create your own superhero. So that you saw on that UI that there are a dozen different superhero classes you can choose from. You mix and match powers from those classes and really make a superhero all your own. But what else is new in the Fractured But Whole? Um, well, I mean, that's obviously <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Just like uh, that. I mean, it's definitely more of a, there's definitely more of defining your character and kind of, in superhero movies, there's always like the intense emotional center that like motivates why you have to go out and fight crime. So it's a much, as you can already tell, it's a much more spiritual, it's a more spiritual, it's a more spiritual game. It's right. much more about, it's like, there's, you know, you know there, there's part. actually a part of it that I'm really proud of where um, there's a, there's a gay fish in South Park and <laughs> He loves fish sticks, and um, yes. the gay fish actually um, wants you to help him get his mother into heaven. And um, so you get to journey up and try to help this little gay fish get his mom into heaven, and you're all acting like this shit's regular. <laughs> shit is hard. The shit is hard. It was hard. <laughs> that was hard. I hope you all saw the Kanye thing. <laughs> if you didn't see the Kanye thing, that won't make any sense. <laughs> Uh, so, but, but, you no, also, we, we, you know, Cartman's the one who's kind of in charge of telling each superhero what their tragic backstory was that right. made, them, made them a superhero, and so this is what he comes up with for Claire. Right, let's see it. Who let this guy join us anyway? Go easy on him, you guys. He's had a tough life, and it's time they learned your tragic backstory. You lay awake that night, like so many other nights. You couldn't sleep because you knew you weren't like the other kids. You walked to the mirror. You looked in the mirror and you felt alone. And that's when it happened. A loud noise. You swore you could hear your mother calling for help. You left your room. You left your room. Seriously, dude, just walk through the door already? But then you finally reached your parents' door. What you saw when you opened that door changed your life forever and led you to fighting crime. You were too late, because when you opened that door, you saw... You saw your dad fuck your mom. What? Butthole doesn't trust anyone because his dad fucked his mom and he couldn't do anything to stop it. That doesn't make any sense. I know. How could the person you trust do that to the only other person you love? Carbon, everyone's dad fucked everyone's mom. Huh? That's how it works, stupid. Our dads fuck our moms. Oh, right. So does that mean your dad fucked your mom, Cam? Huh? Yes! My dad fucked my mom. That's why I'm here. Don't steal his backstory, dude. That's not cool. <laughs> sure. I can see I can see there's a lot of people that relate to that story. Yeah, it's very right. personal for us and apparently that does yeah. we'll touch a lot of people. <laughs> There's very few people that can at least relate to it at some level, except for Jesus. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> we got that one out. Uh, so, obviously, that's pretty brutal. We've uh, got another thing in South Park that's brutal, our combat, and we worked on that a lot together. Yeah, the combat system is much improved from Stick of Truth, and it's a superhero, it's a superhero game, so it has, the combat is definitely the center. Yeah, center we actually, center. it was actually pretty cool, because we... Uh, us and the guys from Ubisoft, we'd come down and talk about what this game would be, and we, we'd go back to my house afterwards and play board games, because I'm a big board gamer. So we'd play all like my favorite board games and tabletop miniature type of games and figure out how to, you know, we, didn't, we still wanted to keep some of the turn-based stuff because it, it really makes it easier to do story. And so, um, so we just tried to do a big 4.0 version of Stick of Truth. Right. I mean, the, all of those sessions, it's a lot of very, real clarity that comes from that. So what we ended up putting in is, they combat space and time. So let's talk about it. First, let's talk about space. You're not restricted to a location anymore. Now you can move to get into tactical positions on your enemies. Ooh. <laughs> you can also move to get behind cover. You can push and pull enemies, but they can also do it to you. Ugh. You can knock them into props and get a little extra damage. You can knock them into other characters and get an extra attack. You can use some of your powers like Tweak here to get over obstacles. So obviously using space makes a big difference.
totally realistic. Next up is time. In the first game, your farts were legendary. Now your farts are so powerful that you can use them to rip the fabric of time itself. Like Ghost Recon. <laughs> So, you can use that to rearrange the turn order. Mastering space and time makes a huge difference. I can't wait for you guys to get your hands on it. Let's bring it out with big volume. <laughs> it gets loud, too. Yeah. It's Woo. a loud game. Yeah. <clears throat> that gets pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. So uh, then we did all that, and now we do the business part. The business part? Oh, yeah. awesome. What's that part? <laughs> it's obviously been an amazing game for us to work on, and I think both of our teams have been having a ton of fun. And we're almost done, and now we have some exciting news, news for our South Park fans before we go. Anyone who buys the fractured butt hole will get the stick of truth for PS4, Xbox One, and Steam for free. If you pre-purchase the game today, Free purchase the game today, Fractured But Whole, that is, and you can start playing Stick of Truth right away. So check out our website and for information and about our participating retailers. Right? Yeah. Cool. Sounds great. You don't want to so do that. So we made a trailer if you want to see it. Um. Yeah. <laughs> and then it sort of shows part. what the boys are fighting about that was the Civil War Fractured But Whole part of it. People yeah. want to know the re release date probably too. Oh, yeah. yeah what, what do you think it is? What do you think it is? Uh, I'm putting my money on December 6th. <laughs> <laughs> the Fracture of the Hole will be released on December 6th. <laughs> That's it. There it is. Thank you. Right, thank Thanks, you. everybody. Thanks. Enjoy the trailer. Bye. Why did we choose this life? Why did we become superheroes? We dedicate our lives to fighting crime for one reason to make a billion dollars on a superhero franchise. Now let's go through the plan one more time. First, we start with the Coon movie. Then we do the Super Craig movie. Then Super Craig and Coon will join forces in the Human Kite movie just as we start ramping up Kenny's Netflix series. How come I have to have the Netflix series? I want a movie too. You have a movie, Mysterion. You're in the third Coon and Friends United movie after your Netflix series. Yeah, but he's saying he doesn't ever get his own movie. Do I get my own movie? Not everyone gets their own movie. The franchise plan sucks. If we want to make billions of dollars, then I think we should start with the Tupperware movie. Right, start with a black superhero. Marvel is making a black superhero movie. Yeah, now! They waited years to get to that! We follow their plan, we do all the real people first, and we sneak the black guy in in phase three. How about we just do movies starring all of us, like all the time? But then we're just rehashing the same old material! There's nothing wrong with doing the exact same movie to start a franchise. Okay, J.J. Abrams. Okay, oh, okay, so you're on Cartman's side? He just likes this plan because he gets two movies in phase one. God! We have to just go with this plan. We don't even have one movie yet. How did it get to this? How did we grow so far apart? You go with the plan. Maybe we'll just go and do our own franchise. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you want Civil War? Is that what you want? Yeah, dude, Civil War. Fuck you. Oh, fu oh fuck you. Get out of my house. We'll make way more money on our franchise. Go ahead. I bet you don't even get halfway through phase one on your franchise, DC Comics. I thought Civil War wasn't supposed to happen until Phase 3. Shut up, Super Craig! I didn't want to have to do this, but you leave me no choice. Did I just hear someone use a microaggression? Yeah!